Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. There we go, black powder. Look, if I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, 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 look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres. And yet, here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh, but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. The first aid cabinet is locked. What? Did you injure yourself again? Not yet. Too bad. You know what? Tell me when you have. I'll have a good long laugh, and then I'll give you the key. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are. Hey, stop it. What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you going to pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough 
that I still let you live at my place, that I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still, oh, this sucks. My blood pressure. I have to meditate. Breathe in, breathe out. Ah, ouch! Hey! Um... <laughs> um... Ouch! Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure! That is to say... Wait a minute. You dirty rat! Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please! I'm bleeding to death here! If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store. If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change. One whole chili. A pinch of black powder. Stimulant. I'll call this blend Rufus Reckless, the Maiden Slayer, <laughs> or Savior. Hmm. No, Slayer sounds much better. This is Wenzel's house. He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled, because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvax built on with this very rod. Yeah, well if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Later. Exactly. This wasn't half as funny as I thought it would be. If 
my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. Poor Wenzel. His tender heart will break when he finds out that the well in his basement isn't real. <laughs> Quick, I don't want to miss the moment. Wenzel? I'm down here! Come quick! You won't believe your eyes! <laughs> Poor Wenzel still thinks he struck water down there. Instead, his cellar is simply flooded. <laughs> Bad luck. What's up, Wenzel? I struck water! Well, Wenzel, maybe you shouldn't get too excited. Sometimes you just think you struck water, and then it's just... Wait a second. You really struck water. Unbelievable, isn't it? I am rich! But that's impossible. And it's all thanks to you. Well, thanks to your father's divining rod. You are a true friend. You know what? You shared with me, and now I'll share with you. Really? Of course. I share with you this very moment the moment of triumph! Let's enjoy it together. What's that grinding noise? It's not my teeth. I see. I'm rich! Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you too? Dear me, what a day. I want to see the mayor. Everyone. <clears throat> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you! Hardly ever saw such stupid hats. Hardly ever saw... Oh, the blast signal. Take cover! Imminent blast!
I would have earned the one, but I guess the 63 will have to do. Ah, Rufus, I believe you may very well want to congratulate me. The mayor was very excited to hear about my discovery. He believes the water vein might make Kuvak one of the three richest settlements in the southern quadrant. Right now, he's hearing one more applicant, but for now, it looks like I'll be the one. Goal is supposed to live at your place? Oh, don't make me laugh. What? Now that I have a water vein on my property, I'm one of the most influential people of Kuvak. And with an orbit pixie in my house, I might even become an honorary citizen. Who knows? One day, I might even follow in the footsteps of your father. But I was the one who saved her, and I'm the one who gave her shelter. Rufus, you don't even have a house. So how do you suppose you'll convince the mayor? Well, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm... Next up, number 63, please. Is it my turn already? Yes, it is. I already <coughs> called your number, didn't I? Lotech, I have to talk to you. It's about... Lotech? What? Who's disturbing me? Whoa. Are you really sleeping in your desk? This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Before me, your father used to sleep in here. That was before he betrayed the community. <laughs> well, I can totally understand that. Well, he left you behind, too. Be that as it may, who sleeps in a desk anyway? Admittedly, the desk isn't aligned correctly with the planet's magnetic field, but your father had a device installed to correct that. What? What? Instead of just moving the desk, my dad preferred messing with the planet's magnetic field? Well, he was the most egocentric and stubborn person I've ever met. That's a lie! Oh yeah? Why do you think he left you here? Because he didn't care about anyone but himself. Not even his own son. Not even for his own son. Pretty ironic that you've become just as egotistic as he was back then. Egotistic? Me? Ha! Just recently, I risked my own life to save a girl from the clutches of the Organon. Completely without ulterior motives, I suppose. You better believe it. My ass. You'll be surprised, Lotet. I will save the girl. And then everyone on this planet will realize how selfless I really am. But then, it'll be too late, because then, I'll already be sitting in some cocktail lounge in Elysium and laughing about you fools and how you still have to live in this junkyard. You'll see. I'm here for the Elysian girl. They all are, but you're too late. The hearing is over. Over? But, but I saved her life. I find that hard to believe. Considering you're responsible for 90% of all injuries that happen in Kuvak. Well, but 90% of those have been my own injuries. Listen, Rufus. Whenever chaos breaks out in Kuvak, you are responsible for it. As far as I know, you might even be responsible for that girl falling from the sky. Uh, no, it was different. With your attitude, you wouldn't even stand a chance if the hearing wasn't over already. I'm starting to run out of good arguments here. Finally! There is a god! Are we done here? I really need to go to the assembly hall. You bet. Oh, now what? I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. <laughs> You don't even have your own residence, do you? You're mooching off your former girlfriend. Yeah, well, at least I'm not sleeping in the drawer of my desk. Watch your tongue, son. This is the mayor's traditional resting place. Oh, if only your father were here to put you in your place. You know darn well he worked here before me. 
Oh yeah, you mean he slept here? You don't even know what real work is. If you'd put in a little more effort, you could have followed in your father's footsteps. My father's footsteps led away from this dump, and I'll get away from this rock too. And you think you'll reach your goal without a serious effort? <sighs> I'm beginning to understand why he didn't take you with him. Ouch. I can't stop thinking about what- Well, get over it. Your father installed that device for a reason. He manipulated the magnetic field so he could sleep in harmony with the field lines. I can't imagine how that's supposed to work. Well, it does work. I sleep like a baby. <sighs> the only downside is that carrier pigeons are constantly crashing into my window. The girl belongs to me. Wrong. I've already made the decision. I'm starting to run out of good art. Fine. Are we done? No. That's it. Well, then just beat it. I need to get to the assembly hall. Yeah, he's gone. Well, never mind. A gadget that manipulates the planet's magnetic field. Yeah, this could have been my idea. If this is where the key to the world belongs, good night. I mean, I manage to lose the key to my front door all the time. Hmm, no reaction. Dad's water vein must be somewhere else. Looks like Dad's secret will see the light of day after all. <laughs> a key. My dad knew I'd be clever enough to find it. I wonder what I'd get for it if I melt it down. This might be unnecessarily complicated, but I'm sure Dad wanted to see that I'm the only one who could get this far. In getting at his great secret, his legacy, his liquor cabinet. 